Dear Minister Hall, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to this international conference on the role of languages in our society. I congratulate the Polish government on their excellent initiative to organize this event. And I'm indeed very sorry that because of other institutional commitments, I cannot be with you in person. If the conference is taking place this week in Warsaw, it is surely no coincidence. Monday saw the 10th anniversary of the European Day of Languages, a special moment when we celebrate the color and vibrancy of our linguistic diversity. This week, I signed a joint declaration with the Council of Europe, where we state our commitment to language learning and linguistic diversity. Together, we will encourage people to learn the widest possible range of languages to enhance mutual respect, to improve communication, employability and mobility, and to support integration and democratic citizenship in our increasingly diverse societies. And today, so many of you are taking part in this year's foremost conference on multilingualism. I commend the Polish presidency on its decision to push languages up the political agenda. You are right to do so. I thank you for it and you have my full support. Today's event comes at the decisive moment for the European Union. Earlier this summer, the European Commission published proposals for the EU's next financial framework for the period 2014 to 2020. I am proud to say that we have put forward a large increase in the budget for education, training and youth. I believe this marks a turning point in the EU's contribution to these fields. As far as education is concerned, we have proposed a bigger budget because we recognize education's vital role in Europe's economic recovery. And it is precisely as a central pillar of education for the knowledge-based society that we value the learning of foreign languages. Over the next couple of months, my services and I will be designing our new education program. We intend to publish our proposal at the end of November. It is my own personal ambition that the learning of languages should feature among the highest priorities of the new program. Let me finish with a Czech proverb that captures the spirit of what we are trying to do and the beauty of learning languages. You live a new life for every new language you speak. Therefore, if you know only one language, you live only once. I wish you a very successful conference and look forward to working with you in the years ahead.